hello. Hi. How are you doing there? Hi. I'm great. Hi, how are you? I'm great. All right. So we're going to get this live started. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I'm Bree from the Life at Humber team, and this is our We Got You Live series, a weekly series where we answer your burning questions. So today we received a lot of great questions um, through our Instagram stories, and so we will be answering those today. And if you have any questions throughout the live, just leave them in the comments. So... Today's guest is the manager of retail services. And fun fact, he was up until last semester the coach for Lakeshore basketball team, and he has been for the past six years. So today we are welcoming Don. Thank you so much for going live with us today. Awesome. You're welcome. Great. Absolutely. Um, so uh, the question that we want you to answer today is um, where, where can students eat on campus? So we know that a proportion of people are coming back to campus because of their programs and a portion is going to be online. So the people that are returning to campus, um, where, where can they eat? Well, yeah, oh, great question. Um, there's a couple of locations. Um, at the North Campus, we're opening our main uh, food court uh, called the Food Emporium. Um, their students will have the ability to um, purchase meals at multiple food stations. Uh, we'll be offering um, a culinary or a chef-inspired food station, which will offer um, a variety of um, plant-based meals, um, custom ethnic meals, uh, theme meals. So at that station, we'll have a lot of excitement and diversity in terms of what, what we're able to offer students. Um, we'll have um, a homemade pizza program, um, um, homemade sandwich program. Um, presently, um, we have branded programs in that area, but for uh, the fall semester, we're going to focus more on uh, more internal brands. Um, but uh, lots of excitement um, planned for our students for the fall. Amazing. So you're talking about these food stands. Are these new food stands that are popping up or are these all like this food that's already in the Food Emporium? Um, so it'd be, it'll be very similar programs to um, the current uh, food venues that we have in the Food Emporium. Um, because of um, our current situation, we've had to uh, modify some of the stations um, to offer similar meals. So we'll have um, our our, um, our We Grill will now be our Grill & Co. So uh, um, a more advanced um, and diverse uh, grills, grill program. Um, we currently have Pizza Pizza, but as a result of COVID, we're going to um, do a homemade brand pizza program there. Um, our culinary inspired station just offers lots of flexibility, whether it's um, um, baked, uh, baked meals, baked pastas, stir fries, uh, Mexican theme meals, Indian theme meals. Um, and because we're going to be serving um, the community as well as our resident students, we'll be offering breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, throughout, um, throughout the day, seven days a week. Um, Amazing. <laughs> we also have, you know, at all our venues that are open, um, although we won't have um, full service uh, brands open for the fall. Um, we'll have Tim Hortons at all those locations. Uh, it won't be, it'll be express served um, Tim Hortons. So we'll have Tim Hortons coffee and um, uh, Tim Hortons pastries, but we won't have the full uh, service uh, Tim Hortons available. Um, so just continue on. So at the North Campus, we'll have the Food Emporium open and at, um, uh, Carrier Drive, uh, we'll have Trades Cafe open for students. Um, at the Lakeshore campus, um, the main um, eatery, uh, Lake Cafe, that will be open. And similarly, it offers um, a grill program, pizza program, um, express service, Tim Hortons. Um, we know that a lot of students will be over at our Birmingham, um, the Birmingham building at the Lakeshore campus. Um, so we'll be open the arena cafe there as well. So um, we're trying to um, go to where students are in terms of um, providing services. Amazing, amazing. So where can students access the information, like the full list of hours and um, the, the stands? Where can they access that online? Um, so currently for Humber, um, students can go to the, um, uh, the students update page on the uh, Humber website, and it will have all our hours of operations there. Um, and there's also 
um, on the Humber page. There'll be, um, there's, a, there's an hours of operations page and all the updated food services and information will be there. Um, you can follow us on Instagram um, at retail, Humber Retail Services and we will continue update students there as well. Amazing. So we're going to be putting um, the, the link to that in our bio and in our description so students won't have to worry about looking for the information. Um, another question is, will, like, will there be seating um, available to students? Like, will the cafeteria be open? Will like, um, mm -hmm. the student center be open? Like, where can students sit and eat? Uh, great question. Um, can you still see me? Yes. Okay, uh, great question. Um, so for the main venues that are open, um, we will have um, social distancing seating arrangements set out. So at the Food Emporium, um, we'll have specific um, seating arrangements at, at each uh, table or booth. And we'll do that at Lakeshore as well. Um, we'll also um, have a program in place for cleaning and sanitizing those tables and communicating to students that, yes, um, it's safe to sit at this, um, at this seat. So we'll, we'll, we'll certainly, we certainly have a multiple um, protocols in place to inform students and ensure that um, they're comfortable sitting um, in our seating areas. All right, fantastic. Um, another question we got this week is, will booster juice be open? Oh, unfortunately not. Um, it's, oh, uh, darn. So, yes. Um, so, unfortunately, Booster Juice um, is located in a few locations where um, uh, we, we've chosen not to open for the fall. Um, we will certainly look at um, including a smoothie program within the Food Emporium. Um, so, um, you know, throughout the process or throughout the, the semester, we'll, we'll be engaging students and um, we'll, we'll, we'll find out how we're doing in terms of services, um, you know, are the services that we're providing adequate for students? And then just through students' feedback, we, we will adjust through the semester. So um, what students see the first week may not necessarily be the same repetitive things that they see throughout the semester. So we're going to add um, some uh, variety, especially for resident students, um, because we don't want them to experience the same meals week after week. So, you know, we'll be doing a number of promotional events and theme events for students, and that will include having um, a smoothie bar for students. Amazing. That sounds super exciting. Um, just adding on to that, um, what will the cafeteria be open in residence? Um, so, um, good, great questions. Uh, for moving week, uh, we'll be open uh, for students from um, August the 30th to September 7th. But starting uh, September the 8th, um, the main eatery for students will be the Food Emporium. Um, it'll be open seven days a week. And back in the residence, um, the C-Store component will be open seven days a week from um, about 5 p.m. till 10 p.m. So um, it'll, it'll give students in residence the opportunity to, you know, purchase snacks, purchase to-go meals, um, if, they don't have, if they didn't have an opportunity to come to the Food Emporium. All right, amazing. <clears throat> I know we got a question about um, knowing which re restaurants are open on campus, but that's going to be like online um, at humber.ca. Can you tell us something that maybe like um, which restaurants will not be open? Like will Humber, um, the, will Cafe Links be open? Um, so Cafe Links will not be open, um, partially because of the, the number of um, students expected on campus and um, certainly some of the challenges around opening um, cafe links and being able to practice social distancing. Um, so, um, so for the fall and the winter semester, there's no plans to open cafe links. Um, I, I suspect that in the winter semester, we will review um, uh, services uh, for like a Starbucks or full service Tim Hortons, and then we'll, we'll adjust accordingly. All right. And my last question is, um, will the Humber Room be open? Ah, well, currently, um, there's no plans to uh, 
um, open the, the gourmet cafe, caf, sorry, gourmet express at the North Campus, um, or the Humber Room, primarily because the is, is um, um, they're doing a lot of their pro. Another location at the North Campus that will be open that I'm sure a few students will be excited about. Um, the Accutree focus on service, um, serving um, their Spike Patty program, which offers a lot of Amazing. varieties of patties and um, how to um, eat um, <laughs> or, or enjoy a patty. So it's just, it's Okay. Um, it cut out a little bit for me there, so I hope that students were able to get the information. Um, but anyway, you've answered a lot of amazing questions for us. And if you have any more questions, um, uh, students who are, who are watching, um, just please leave them either in the comments or message us directly, and we'll be sure to relay the message and get an answer for you. So, um, Again, we are going to be putting all of the information um, through a link in our bio and through the link in our descriptions. Also follow Humber Retail Services to make sure to get all of the updates going on. Um, and thank you so much for talking with us today. We really appreciate Amazing. you going live with us and sharing this information. Um, so this is the end of We Got You Live. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that this information provided a lot of clarity and a lot of valuable information for people on what they can expect when they return to campus. All right, so we're gonna end it there and sure. thank you everyone.